In the last episode, we drove 570 kilometers from Exmouth to the middle of nowhere. We are in the middle of nowhere. We are in the middle of nowhere. And yeah, we are in the middle yeah. of nowhere. In this episode, we try to keep the van in one piece. First victim of creation in the van. And the cat's clean. Oh, Gatinha, where have you been? Look at your feet. While we explore one of the most remote regions of Australia. Be careful of the snakes. You gotta be dingo aware. Don't give us hate for this. What's happening, guys? Hey! Oh. Bon dia amigos, welcome back to our channel. We have arrived into Tom Price after that long drive all the way from Exmouth. This town is the top town of Western Australia. Because? It is the highest town of Western Australia. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> Tom Price is a mining town and you can see that as soon as you drive into yeah. town because all you see is mining workers, mining trucks or tourists. And tourists stop here for the same reason that we did. Stock up on food, stock up on fuel, and to explore Karajini National Park. So that means that we're gonna be planning the rest of our time here at Karajini Park. We have the map in front of us, so we'll show you guys what we've got planned. So Karajini National Park is the second largest national park in Western Australia, and we have split it into four parts. One part is Hamley's Gorge, which we have already done. And this gorge is the famous Instagram spa pool pictures that you see. Then the second part, that we uh, broke this into is Mount Bruce, which we have also done. We climbed to the summit yesterday. It's a, it was a 10K walk, grade five. It took us three and a half hours to climb to the summit. During that walk yesterday, I bumped my head and it made me bite my lip. So now I have a weird thing looking on my lip. So if everyone was wondering what that is, it's because I hit my head. Mount Bruce is the second highest peak in Western Australia. So we climbed that. Third area that we split the national park is this area here that there is an enlargement that you can see. In this area there are four gorges and we plan to do this area in two days, today and tomorrow. And the last area is this gorge Dale's campground which we'll do in like three days time. So in total we'll take five days to explore the whole national park. So as a plan for the next few days, we do need to be a little bit sneaky while we're here because it is a national park and we have our two little babies with us. Yeah, we could do this in a lot less time. I've seen people doing it in three days, but because we don't want to spend the whole day in the national park with the cats stuck inside the van, we go for the morning, come back to a free camp in the afternoon and then go back the next day. So that's why we're taking five days. So we are super lucky that there's three kind of really good free camps around the gorge so there's one up near Hamsley's one near Mount Bruce and now there's gonna be one on the other side just before we leave so it's super easy to drive in spend the day do some gorges drive back out free camp no issues with the cats in the National Park Yo! <laughs> what's happening guys you having a conversation oh oh hey. oh she go are you going to be hiking in these clothes today? No way. Why not? This is my pyjamas. We had a bit of a slow this morning. This morning. Slow this morning. <laughs> we have a bit of a slow morning. It is uh, 10 o'clock and we're going to make our way to the gorge. Google Maps is saying one hour, but these roads are pretty rough, so it might take us a little bit longer in the van. But it's only 30 kilometers, so... Yeah. We'll see how we go. This road is really good. It's not going to take us an hour. Not at all. I was, um... I'm starting to get over corrugations. They, uh, they're hurting me. The bathroom's starting to fall apart a little bit. All the cracks are starting to come out. One of the cupboards is loose above the fridge. I've got to tighten that up. The door's a little bit, how you going, a little bit squeaky full of dust. So this road, it I'm happy, I'm happy for it. <laughs> we spoke too soon. The road has arrived. But yeah. it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Yesterday was way worse going into Bruce. Mount Bruce. As with any other national park in Western Australia, you have to pay to get into the national park. It's $15 per car per day, or you can buy an annual pass like we have. It costs $120 and you can get into all of the national parks for a whole year. So it's definitely worth it. Here we are, we arrived. I could do another coffee right now. We've started a new thing where we've been doing two coffees in the morning and then not having a coffee in the afternoon. It seemed to have pushed us through not the afternoon, not needing a coffee. But recently what's happening is that now I'm feeling like a coffee in the afternoon as well. After lunch. After lunch, yeah. So now we've been having three coffees. I was like, have we started something where it turns into three, then four, then five? How much is too much? How much is too much? Let us know in the comments how many coffees that you guys would have in a day. 
And what's an acceptable amount? Ten. <laughs> That's a bit extreme, isn't it? <laughs> we need the energy. <laughs> okay, let's get hiking ready. Okay, we are ready to go. Last thing we do need to get is a bag. We're so we're not having a coffee? No coffee today. No coffee, we don't need it. We've got energy. We've got enough energy of going into the gorge and the excitement and stuff. Yeah. Let's go for a cold swim. That would be such like a coffee. Barbara, let's take the dry bag, but we don't know if we're actually going to be getting wet or not. We bought this dry bag a little while ago to take onto the stand-up paddle board when we go out to take things in. It doesn't have like a backpack, so yesterday I made this with some rope for the little bag. <laughs> what do you guys reckon? Should do the job? <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. Yeah? Yeah. Ta -da. <laughs> what are we putting in there? I think it's just going to be our... One towel? One towel, phones, GoPro, which is pretty much it. Okay. Yeah. So because we sneak the cats, the cats into the national Shh, park... Don't tell anyone. <laughs> We block all the windows. It's good for us also to keep the van cool and stuff, but we do mostly to keep the cats cool and so that no one can see inside and see them. So we're doing that now um, and hopefully we don't, we don't get a fine for having the cats here. <laughs> Best investment ever, this block out. No one needs to know that our little kids are inside here. We keep them nice and cool. So this is what they do all day. Even with the door open, they just kind of hang out in their little spots. You got Gachini there and Jon Snow is already out cold. <laughs> don't give us hate for this. We know it's not allowed. Yes. But it's our way around it. We don't we... have anywhere to put them at the moment. And they're much, much more comfortable in here than in a shelter or somewhere. That's exactly right. Let's go. Ready? Let's do it. Located 1,500 kilometers north of Perth, Kerrigini National Park is the second largest national park in Western Australia and is ranked in the top five visitor experiences for the state. Kerrigini is famous for its spectacular gorges and canyons up to 100 meters deep, dramatic waterholes, rocky creeks, refreshing waterholes, and a mix of colors that go from red orange rocks to jade green water. We are back to where we started. Now we're gonna climb up this rock. Time to tackle the scramble up now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're gonna head back to the one that we drove past before, which was Jeffrey's Gorge. Joffrey. Joffrey. Oh, Joffrey. Sounds, um, he sounds English. English. <laughs> the next one, I think they say allow three hours. Really? So it might be one and a half. Hours. So we'll definitely have lunch before that one. Yeah. <laughs> We don't want grumpy bum wagey. <laughs> we don't want this guy. <laughs> hey, we are at Joffrey's Gorge. Time for some lunch. We always make a mistake with lunch when we do activities. That we actually needed to cook vegetables, chicken. I oh, know we got mince actually. But like, we just don't feel like it after you hike and do activities. I don't, I don't feel like cooking. Oh, and we have another one planned that we just want to get it done. So thankfully, we have, we have our backup. Wraps. Yeah, we always try and keep a packet of wraps in the van as a bit of a backup. <laughs> because with wraps, you can just put anything on there and make it work. You need to wash your hands, wait, you bad bean. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna eat too soon. <laughs> Get that caffeine here. We only had one coffee today. That's what we're talking about. This one looks a little dodgy. Ooh, Joffrey Gorge is also done. Mm -hmm. The waterfall is done, although there wasn't any water flow. But look at this view. We are in the middle of nowhere. It's crazy. <laughs> We've arrived to our camp for the night. We have spent actually two nights here already and I think we're gonna spend at least one more, maybe, maybe two more. Let's see what it's like. We're just outside the National Park. It was only, I don't know, less than an hour drive from the Joffrey, Joff, Joffrey's Gorge that we went to. It's really, really nice here. The only downside is the flies, but that's everywhere in the outback. We are in the middle of nowhere, so it's kind of expected. But this place is good. 
It's huge. There was been probably, it's hard to say because of how big this place is, but I would say there's been at least five other people here each night we've stayed here. But you got no idea because it's so big. There's like deep into the bush behind me there, which is crazy. Who are you talking to? To the people. Hi, people. Are you trying to block the flies? Yeah. Is that what's... Because <laughs> I see hundreds around yeah. you. But you guys should see how the cats come back to the van oh, yep. after they go for a walk yep. in this red dirt. Yep. No! No, 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 Papa! Don't do that! Don't do that! Look at you now! Para! Sai! Sai daqui! Gatinha! Don't let her go in the bed! Gatinha! Oh. Come have a look at this side! Oh, Gatinha, where have you been? Look at your feet! Don't let her go in the bed! You're not allowed on the bed? Where are you gonna sleep tonight? She has uh, her own bed. She can sit in Oh, no, gachinha, gachinha, gachinha. <laughs> she has no idea what's going on. Danny is now doing some meal prep for us tomorrow because we were lazy to make lunch today. So we're prepping the tonight. The same thing is not happening tomorrow. Careful with that knife. <laughs> yeah, so tomorrow we'll have food prepped. We just need to chuck it in the air fryer and have lunch because we'll be exploring again. And if we don't have this prepped like this, we're going to have a disgusting wrap again. Yeah. Well, it wasn't disgusting. No, it was well. alright, but we don't have anything left to put in that wrap. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. And right now, I think everyone has kind of rocked up to stay here. We have like a group of people to the right of us. There's probably like three cars. We have a van literally just next to us. And I've seen a few people head off into the bush there. So it's a, it's a busy night tonight. We're packed. See you, Mom. We're safe. <laughs> she stresses there. My mom there. always worries that we sleep in the middle of nowhere with no one around and yeah we are in the middle yeah. of nowhere but there's a lot of people traveling as well and yeah. staying here yeah. so with it that's my dinner vegetable eggs in a rye bread my time to eat. I bulk make some kale, cauliflower, tomatoes and almond in here. I like bulk cooking stuff so then I literally just put it into a bowl and it's good to go. There is some rice in the bottom of this. Add some Greek yogurt. And I'm done. Within like two seconds, I've got dinner ready and prepared. Hey, Danny mm -hmm. I've got a game for you. Mm -hmm. Scissor, paper, rock for who does the dishes. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Scissor, Scissor paper, paper, rock. Scissor, Scissor paper, paper, rock. Hey! I don't like this one. Winner, winner, chicken dinner! Okay, let's see how fast you are. Three, two, one. Much better. We did notice when we were cleaning, if you want to show. We had, we the... had the first victim of creations in the van. Yeah. Oh no. We don't have any glass Tupperwares so for this exact clean. reason that they just break. Corrugation's got this one. Mm. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> Brush our teeth. We are just searching for our movie for tonight. We're watching Conan McGregor. We're gonna watch a movie yep. and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bon dia, amigos! Bon dia! <laughs> Today, our plan is to go see two more gorges here in Karajini. We have about an hour's drive to get there and we do know there is some corrugations where I just... My overcorrugation. And it's a bit of a shame that today is very windy and cold and today one of the gorges we know we have to get in the water to complete. Yeah. So hopefully in the gorge is not as windy and cold because I was really looking forward to this place today. So Me too. Hopefully it warms up a little bit. Yeah. Yep. If you've ever wondered what the toilets look like here in the out in the middle of nowhere, this is pretty much what you got. Oh what are you doing here? So these are long drops. It's just the thing that goes into a, into a massive hole and you put some of that detergent stuff in there and you're good to go. But in this one, they give you warnings. So you gotta be careful of the snakes. It's like King Brown, Western Brown, and then how to fix if you got an issue. But here, which is a little bit different to most places, that you gotta be dingo aware. Are you gonna face a dingo and maintain eye contact if one ever threatens you? If you have children, gather them together and remain calm. If you're with others, you gotta stand back to back. Like these guys are like wolves. Yes, we wanna see one. 
But these are the kind of toilets that you get in the middle of nowhere. Just long drops, simple. Some of them can be disgusting, like real bad. They are, they look new and pretty but nice. But one thing that impresses me in Australia is that every, almost like 99% of the public toilets that we go, they are like this in the middle of nowhere, yeah. but they all have toilet paper. <laughs> true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you don't get that in Brazil? No! Okay, so we've made it to the national park and we decided to start today's attractions with Hancock Gorge, which they say is the most challenging hike in the whole of the national park. So let's see how we go. But we are already at the bottom of it. It's beautiful. Karajini is an ancient part of the planet. This area is over 2.5 billion years old. The climate varies a lot throughout the year. Summers are associated with thunderstorms and cyclones and temperatures frequently topping 40 degrees. The ideal times to visit are late autumn, winter and early spring. Winter days are warm and clear, but nights are cold and sometimes frosty. We got to a path now that we ha can choose if we try to go through the walls or swimming. We just saw two girls swimming and they were freezing. And like up to here with water. Yeah, so we're going to try to go through the wall. Shoes are back on. Push is luck. Easy peasy. So I think this is what they call the spider walk now, AG. Careful, please. <laughs> gorge number two and last one for the day is called Yanu Gorge. There's a pool at the end of it again. Handrail Gorge. Handrail pool. Handrail pool. Yanu Gorge. Okay. But I don't know if I feel like getting wet again. <laughs> for meal prep huh yeah because uh i didn't feel like cooking after that first hike nope me neither or the second but what do we got meatballs and veggies 10 minutes later lunch is done simple easy i think someone else wants some lunch too is that his way of getting it Somebody. Say hello. Uh, <laughs> Amigos, boa noite. We had lunch, left the national park, drove about two hours. One hour was just to get out of the 13 kilometer dirt road. We had a little meltdown because Wade was worried that we are destroying the van on dirt roads. So we made a pact that we're not going on dirt roads anymore. Let's see how long that lasts. Another thing that we are struggling here at this region of Australia is the red dust. We thought the red center was bad, but this is way worse than that area. The cats are orange, the van is orange. Everywhere we look, there's dust. We are in one of the most beautiful regions we have been to. We have no water, no shower. We have shower in the bag, but we can't use because there's no water. So I think we're just ready to go back to the ocean, get back to the to where there's water, yeah, and live clean. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. I will might clean up tonight and just go to bed. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bonjour, amigos. It's our last night in Caragini. Yay! <laughs> Look. We love this place, it's beautiful, but like I said yesterday, we are over this red dirt. Yeah, we are out of it today, we're on a new free camp. Check out our view from the door. This isn't bad, even these guys like it. We are going to make a coffee and then get out of here actually really early because we've got two more gorges to see and then we still got another four hour drive to the next free camp and then we're into Port Headland and we can get some food, water, showers. Back to civilization. Yeah. And then we got another six hour drive after that. We have never had hiking shoes and we have talked about it like, hey, would it be nice to have some hiking shoes, but we've never gone enough hikes to warrant the cost. We recently picked up some and I don't think I could do a hike without them anymore. What about you? Yeah, no, I love them. And it's... we've only had them for like two weeks. Yeah. 
but we have used them so much already. And I don't know if all hiking shoes are like this because I don't have anything to compare to, but like, it's like glue on the bottom of my shoes. Mm. It just grips to everything. And here, the rocks the are... Yes, you need it. You're super slippery, so these are saving us. I reckon we would have fallen over quite a few times yeah. without these. We're starting this gorge a little bit earlier today. It's like 8.30 maybe, 9 o'clock. Now? Yeah. Let me check for you. She's a bit windy and a bit nippy. I don't know how much... Um, 8.50. I don't know how much swimming we're actually going to be doing today. You didn't even get in the water yet, at all yesterday. I did. Oh. That's right, that's right. I forgot. But today we have to... I, I don't know if I'm like, going in the water. Start the day with a cold shower, wake you up. Wake you up. Yeah, but like with Better a... than coffee, so then you don't need your second coffee in the morning. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I think I like the... Uh, like, it's cold out after. I think it, it could be warmer in than out. Well, maybe we wait, stay here till 11 a.m. and then it warms up. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are here. We're gonna do this much for to ski falls. Okay. And then we go into the pool. And then... And that's it for today. Back to the hiking shoes, and I'm curious, for the people that hike a lot and know a little bit more about hiking shoes than I do, can you let us know in the comments, are all shoes like this, that, do they just feel like you got glue on the bottom of your feet? Is this just a thing and all these years we've been missing out on all these hikes? Because like, it's not we day. We used to do hikes where we run us. Yeah. And we love it, we loved it, we thought it was great. <laughs> but this like, is oh, way better. <laughs> yeah, let us know below in the comments every gorge we've been into so far when you come down you're like down like this the first hundred meters is vertical it's crazy <laughs> getting muddy oh, we did it we're thinking about going for a quick swim in here you're in, maybe, <laughs> but then we gotta get across there, over that rock, over there, and then up to the top of there somehow. swimming spot of the day is a firm pool but I don't know if we're gonna go in. Are you? Mm, we already did one swim today. You have to go behind the waterfall baby. <laughs> you see pictures. Can we walk around there? <laughs> oh. We are back in the van after doing the last gorge. We have done seven gorges in the last three days. No, the last five days. Oh, five days. And one one hike, one 10 kilometer hike. To the second highest peak in the WA. <laughs> so I think we've explored all of Karajini National Park now, at least all of the gorges that we wanted to see. Yeah. So I think we're ready to get out of here. Let's make a move, we're gonna get to Broome. We need some water, we need to have a shower. We need the to get some food. The van is clean, it's all orange. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys next week. Bye.